summer's not far away, summer holidays, summer bodies, beach bodies, bikinis, swimwear, oh my god, fear. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to reveal skin. <laughs> Leslie Morrison here from LM Fitness and I am really excited actually because I'm looking out the window and the sun is shining so this is probably the first day uh, of 2018 that here in the UK we have had a sunny day which is actually warm well, warm-ish um, but obviously this sparks off something in, in most people's brain which is summer's not far away summer holidays summer bodies beach bodies bikinis swimwear oh my god fear Oh my god, I'm going to have to reveal skin, terrified, oh my god. So I thought, leading on from uh, a video I did the other day of um, how to reduce the appearance of cellulite on your skin, I would do a cellulite busting ass workout, okay? So how to tone your butt up ready for either your summer holidays or just summer in general, or just shape it up in general anyway whether or not you're going on holiday or want to wear a pair of shorts this summer or not. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut with me in a little video inside another video of me. Oh my god, two of me. Ah. But basically I'm going to walk you through a quick workout that you can do um, every day, every other day, every three days, however often you want to between now and, and summer. So you've got um, maybe eight to twelve weeks before the real summer kicks off but Whatever, however long you do this for, you know, if you do it for consistently for, you know, maybe six, seven weeks, it's gonna, it's gonna make some changes to your butt, okay? So, um, we've got uh, nine exercises. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yeah, nine exercises. Um, I'll put a little comment in the bottom corner down there of how many sets and reps you need to do. But really, this workout should only take you maybe fifteen or twenty minutes. It's not high impact, so there's no jumping around. So don't worry about uh, if, if you know if, if you, for whatever reason you can't do high impact workouts. This is a good one to do. This is mainly body weight. There are some um, barbell exercises in there and resistance band exercises in there, but don't panic if you don't have a barbell or a resistance band. You can forego those exercises, or you can find something around the house that's going to um, emulate the use of those things. So. And if you haven't got resistance bands, then you know what, you can order some on Amazon for a couple of quid. So pff, I would recommend you do that because they're brilliantly versatile and you can do so much with them. But we're going to start with um, a barbell front squat. So let me just shrink myself down. Ta-da! So, um, barbell front squat. Now if you haven't got a barbell, just do a bodyweight squat. But make sure that you're pushing your hips back and your knees aren't coming forward of your toes. So you want to keep your tummy up, tummy engaged, back up, chest out and nice and straight through the body. Okay, so push back into your butt. We're then going to go on to the deadlift which is one of my all time favourite exercises. Again, this one does need a barbell so if you're in the gym, grab a barbell, start light, get your technique and build up. Again, same with the squat, keep your tummy on, push your hips back first, push your weight into your heels and don't let your knees come forward. We're then going into a sumo squat, so yeah, squats and squats and squats. Sumo squats are just wide stance squats with turning your feet out. Same principle applies, your stomach stays on, your knees stay behind your toes and you push your hips back, okay? So just again, weight into the heels, push, grit your cheek, grit your teeth, clench your bum, push. Oh, another squat. We're then going into a plie. So you'll come in with your feet, so your heels are together, your toes are out, and you're just, again, squatting down, lower it down, keep your tummy out, on, chest out, back to lower yourself down, just recruiting different muscles in the legs. Now you need your resistance band, so you're going down onto the floor, onto one side, now you're going to do one side, then the other side, and then go back and do it again, both sides, and then again, both sides, but tie your resistance band around your thighs, just above your knees, so when you're doing this movement, you've got that little bit of added resistance there. If you haven't got a resistance band, try it without because it will still burn. You just need to do more of them, okay? Then going back up onto your feet. So we've got a static lunge. So maybe a bottle of uh, milk in each hand, a big bottle of milk in each hand or some tins or whatever. And you're just going into a big wide stance. Feet are nice and separate. And you're trying to get your knees to 90 degrees. So as you lower yourself down, your back knee is getting really close to the floor. All right? Uh, three left, back down on the floor, 
Uh, in fact, the last next two are on the floor. So your kettlebell weighted bridge. Okay, so if you haven't got a kettlebell, anything, anything that's weight, books, bottles of drinks, tins of food, whatever, hold it just on on, on your tummy. Get your heels really close to your bum, clench your bum, push it up off the floor and then back down. Um, we're then going into a plank with a glute lift. So everyone loves the plank. Brilliant exercise. So plank on your elbows. And then all you're doing is just lifting one foot up off the floor, straight from the hip, back down, other leg, up, back down. Just keep repeating. And then finally, we're going for a resistance band side step. So... Tie your resistance band around your thighs this time, just above the knee. Go into a demi squat, so half a squat, and then step the leg out one side, back in, out the other side, back in. Okay, so let me just enlarge myself once more. Ta da! Magic. Now, um, the workout itself is a nice, simple workout, so there's nothing overly strenuous, nothing that's going to really mess you up or injure you as long as you're doing the exercises properly but just remember you need to do it consistently so whether you're in the gym whether you're doing it at home at a friend's house in the park wherever you are just do it consistently a few times a week you know if you really want to go all out go every day but it will take you maybe 15 or 20 minutes to work your way through this workout but it will definitely 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 help to shape tone up your butt get the muscles working and help to reduce or improve the blood flow in your in your thighs and your butt to help reduce the cellulite okay so hope that helps i hope you feel the workout is um going to be beneficial to you give it a try uh comment below if you have any questions or if you want to know more or you know if you've got any feedback but you know like subscribe all of that stuff and i will see you in the next video take care see you soon bye Thanks for watching the video, really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also, check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out. Whilst you're here as well, one more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.